Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So what I'll be talking about is a few things. So um, what I will be talking about is um, lately I had people ask me about um, how to become a graphic designer or do I sell or uh, print products and um, they are asking me if I can mentor them well um, I got all the answers for you right here what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to explain it all in this video and then um, and another thing too I'll be doing a commercial as well and put it on YouTube so um, be on the lookout for that so this video will be going on YouTube and on Facebook as well so um, yeah so this was recorded on uh, February 17, 2018 at Jerome Hart Studios here in Huntsville, Alabama. So um, I hope y'all enjoy the show. If you are interested in graphic design and you don't know where to go, and if you don't have the money to go to school, well, I'm the guy right here to teach you. I will teach you all the tricks, all the techniques, and all the, um, all the stuff that you need to know to become a graphic designer. And of course, there's some good and there's some bad into it. And of course, um, can you make a living off of this? Well, yes, you can. Can you make a, um, can you get decent stuff with the money you get from graphics design? Well, of course, you can. As long as you put your hard work into it and your heart into it and um, put everything, your heart, soul, and time into it and make it as good as the other graphic design work and make it as professional as possible to please the customer and you're all good. If you are into graphic design or if you're getting a degree in graphic design and you need a little mentoring or a little advice, well, I'm the guy right here. I had a lot of people ask me, um, well, um, can you mentor me? Do you know how to do this? Do you know how to do that? Or do you know how to do certain stuff? Do you know how to do cartoons? Can you teach me all that? Well. I got all the answers right here um, about all that, so I'll get to those in a moment, but um, I would like to say that um, on the way to be a graphic designer, it takes a lot of hard work and responsibility, and it takes a lot of creativity and background in art. I have a background in art myself. I took art in high school. I took art in middle school, too. I mean, not really middle school, but I was into art since I was in elementary school, and um uh, it's uh, like um, when you're drawing, when you're uh, doodling, you're like freeing your mind. You can, you're can, you getting creative. That means uh, when you get creative, you're just expressing on how you feel, how you are pleasing the customer, how you are um, doing all these other stuff. So if you're pleasing the customer, you're pleasing yourself and you're pleasing other people. And if you listen to what they want and they tell you what they need, um, then you'll be all right. Um, just be sure not to uh, miss any, miscommunicate any uh, details on that order because if you do um, miscommunicate on these orders, then you, you would have a problem. Like um, for instance, let's say um, if you are um, needing a logo done and you are wanting some clothes uh, black and white and then a design can be a heart or with wings or something and the customer types it out and says a heart with wings and sometimes it can be a little different like chicken wings or building wings or whatever I mean it just really depends on what the customer wants really um, it's just um, you know, you just have to be careful on how you uh, approach the customer, how you address the customer approachingly, and all these other stuff. Now, I will tell you that um, sometimes other customers can get, um, um, sometimes, what's the word I'm looking for? Sometimes they can uh, tell you excuses that, um, no, they're not interested, or they can tell you one thing and tell you another, and they can tell you that, um, they are willing to do business right now, but they can't do it right now because they have other stuff going on, such as some things came up, like uh, a dog dog or something like that. Well, um, sometimes you can believe it, sometimes you uh, cannot. Um, you don't know what's going on in their life, but you know, you just don't take it personal when you uh, when a customer tells you all this because um, if you do uh, express how you feel, um, in spite that I get this plenty of times. Don't take it personal. Don't carry out all your feelings. I 
mean, if you tell the customer how you're really feeling about this situation, telling them um, you're just not interested in doing business with me, you're just making up excuses, you're just telling them all this. I mean, if you're telling them all that to the customer, then uh, the customer will get automatically uninterested. That means they don't want to do business with you after you, get, you said all that, because that's considered being rude, right? Another thing, if you're um, wanting to get the customer's attention, you want to get get to their eyes, just present um, the uh, latest designs you had created so far, the best design you had created so far, such as logos, flyers, shirt designs, business cards, banners designs, and also, if you want to get more attention from customers, you have to offer printing too. Yeah, that's what I do. So printing, um, you can do this two ways. You can either order a um, supplies or printing supplies um, and printing equipment from a company such as a print press machine or a printing machine for canvases, um, business cards, and something like that. But it costs a lot of money. Or you can find a company that uh, does all that for you for a wholesale price or for a cheaper price. That way you can add the uh, cost of the printing onto the cost of the design and combine them all together in one price. That's what um, I'll usually do uh, when I do uh, all these uh, graphic designs, getting these print orders. And because um, I do I do offer printing, of course, um, but I don't have a printing equipment. I just take uh, get somebody else to do it for me as a quickest way because um, I wouldn't have time to do printing myself because um, I'm, if I get all these graphic designs and I do these print orders, then it's going to take a really long time for me to get finished. So always have a plan B um, when you uh, when they ask you, uh, do you do printing or do you do, um, do you offer this type of service? So just uh, be aware of that. And of course, um, about the mentoring of uh, becoming a graphic designer, I will put a few videos up and I will tell you all the um, all the uh, tricks, uh, tips, and advice that I can give to you. And then you can use that as your own advantage. That way you become a good graphic designer as the rest of the graphic designers out there in the world. Because um, some of them are actually doing better designs which really uh, annoys me. A lot of work for under like $20 or something. I heard that people do logos for $20. They do logos for $35. And that uh, some people do flyers for like $6. Good looking flyers. And uh, I guess I just gotta ask this question. Why would people charge that little money for a lot of work? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because to me, when I do all these graphic designs, I got to um, take the time to produce the work and produce uh, what I do. When I do all these graphic designs, sometimes it takes me hours. Sometimes it takes me days to get the design done because, you know, I have to draw it out. I have to sketch it out. I have to put it on the computer. I have to get it animated. I have to uh, put all the effects in. I have to think all that. I mean, I don't uh, take clip art from other... Um, it's heights because that's not me at all. I made them from scratch inside my head. That's right, inside my head. So um, if you want to be a good graphic designer, you must not take others' work and turn them into something you, you create because that is called plagiarism and you get in a lot of trouble for that and customers will not like it, period, all right? About my commercial, since the beginning of 2018, I, I was going to do a commercial on how to better promote my services and try to get get it to the people out there. So, if you're wondering um, when the commercial is gonna come out, expect it to come out in the spring because I'll be I put in a lot of effort. I have a lot of work to do still, and you're just gonna love it, guys. I'm serious. All right. So, um, yeah. So just be on the lookout for that, and you know everything will be all good. So. All right, guys, so um, I guess this is it. So this is my first video of 2018, more to come. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope it's helpful and just look out for more videos on tips to become a graphic designer, tips on how you can be a better graphic designer, how um, you can uh, do a lot of things on being a graphic designer. So 
Um, yeah, so um, I guess that's it. So I am Jerome Harden. Um, until next time, peace.